Hi everyone, I'm Lauren. Um, sorry for if this camera angle is a little weird. I don't know if I can edit it out or not. Still getting used to this camera. It's been a while since I talked about books and stuff. I'm still reading books, although very slowly. I'm trying to get back at it. And I thought I'd do like a TBR type thing. I took inspiration from another booktuber that does a dice rolling type TBR game with prompts. And I totally forgot to write her name down and I feel really bad. And I even tried looking through her messages on YouTube and uh, I'm subscribed to hers so I tried looking there but I can't identify faces very well so ah uh. and also I'm in a bit of a rush because my blah, blah. so I should have really planned that but I'm sorry but I'll put her um, YouTube name or whatever and a link to her channel below. Yeah, and I asked her if I could do it and um, I, <laughs> I actually decided to change it quite a, quite a bit. I don't know. I decided to change it because um, <laughs> I was having trouble with deciding prompts, honestly. So instead I did a dice rolling and basically I roll dice to pick a book off of the um, the shelves that I have and then or bookcases and then pick a shelf and then pick a book on the shelf. It, it's pretty standard I guess or not standard I don't know pretty simple concept. Um, so basically I have uh, how many do I have? So basically I have four shelves plus I have like a kind of manga shelf which I can't really show right now it's not filmable it's kind of dark right now. Some lights went out, yay. So I'll be rolling the closest I can do for that, which is a d6. If I roll a six, I'm gonna have uh, my husband Devin pick something for me instead. Um, and I'm doing that one behind me is one, and then uh, two, three, four. Why did I decide that numbering? No, this one is one. That one is one. That's two. That's three. That's four. Manga is five. Devon pick is seven or six. Um, and then I roll the appropriate die for the shelf on the case. And then I'm just going to roll a d20 because <laughs> I don't want to figure out what, what the best die is every single time. And I'll wrap around. Um, yeah. Man, I'm, this is a simple concept and I'm having trouble explaining it. But anyway, uh, the only other caveat type thing is that there's some series that I have that I haven't started yet and um, I'm going to make a video of, of it uh, soon, TM, hopefully. But um, yeah, as you'll find out in that upcoming video, I have way too many series started and not finished or caught up. so. I'm I'm gonna be skipping over series that I haven't started <laughs> just so I can keep that number down. Um, unless it's a duology, maybe I don't know, or really really short books, and then I might make an exception. It's my rules, yay. Anyway, my goodness, that was a lot of preamble. I'm very sorry. Enough wiffle waffling. Let's get on to the rolls. Hopefully it comes out right, and I'll be showing shelves and stuff. So boo boo boo. Roll number one. So six, that means, what does that mean? Well, that means that uh, Devin gets to pick uh, my husband. <laughs> if you can see that. Oh, that's a little easier to see. Yeah, six. Okay, so roll number one. Oh, yeah, I guess I'm, I'm also doing six rolls. I, I, I forgot to mention that. Um, I'm not going to hold myself to reading all of them necessarily. It just helps narrow it down from like hundreds to six. Anyway, so for the first roll, I rolled a six on my d6 so that is a devon pick that's he couldn't be on camera right now he's a bit busy but i went and asked him and uh <laughs> it is what i thought it was gonna be and it's the second book in the lycanius trilogy an echo of things to come by james islington i oh god when, when was the when did i read the first book i don't know but it's been a while it's it's such a complicated fantasy from based off of what I read in the first one and it just sounds uh I like I really like the first one. It's just I've been a little bit like ah big books, but I have a strategy for conquering big books now. I'm ready to take this on, so thank you for this suggestion. Thank you for telling me to read this book 
series, Devin. Yes, he's the one that uh, he did audiobook technically first. But yeah, big, big old fantasy trilogy. They're really, really big. Uh, and I can't really explain what one of the main hooks with the magic stuff is because it's kind of a spoiler. It's not mentioned in the back of the first book and it kind of happens like halfway through so yeah but it is interesting. I really like the characters and um, it's been peeling off layers and ooh, and ooh, a reference to that, a reference to that. It's been very intriguing so I am excited to continue with the series. So now on to roll number two. So roll number two, first we're gonna, gonna pick the shelf. Three. So, uh, you can see that, I don't know if you can. There you go, three. And then uh, for that, we're gonna do roll on um, which shelf on the bookcase. Uh, I always get confused with bookshelf and case. Uh, so there's four four shelves on this. No, not four. There's three shelves on this one. Uh, but I have a, a D4, so um, I'll just do four as a reroll. And here you go. Um, oh, well that's a that's a four. Um, so <laughs> reroll. There we go. That is a three. Can you see it? Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna roll a D20 for the. Uh, which book on the shelf. So here we go. So 19. Oh, you might not be able to see that. I shouldn't declare 19 and not show you, huh? Uh, there you go. So this is my light novel shelf. Um, I don't know how to film this while keeping this steady at all, but uh, yep, there you go. Since I rolled a three, go on to go to the bottom shelf. Forgive me if this is a weird angle. Um, there we go. Oh, this fisheye lens is very strange. So since I rolled a 19, I'm gonna pick, I'm gonna go, like, count 19, uh, whatever valid counting series is one. So, um, I'm already up to date on Ascendance, well, not up to date, <laughs> I don't have any more Ascendance of a Bookworm. Um, I don't have any more, uh, this is How to Love Your Elf Bride in here. I have started this series, so that's fine. This is technically one, and uh, the rest are all standalone, so it's all valid. Um, anyway, so I rolled a 19. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 15, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So this one is Thomasina. So for roll number two, I got, got, picked, chose the dice gods chose for me Thomasina the cat who thought she was a god by Paul Gallico so this is like I don't know would I consider it children's classic it's like a kids booky type thing but it's old 1957 and I don't really know fully what the book specifically is about but one of my favorite movies as a kid and I probably still like it now I don't know I have to rewatch it uh, called Thomasina put out by Disney long while ago. Uh, I really like that book, or not book, movie, and it's based off of this book. So I wanted to read it. Uh, from what I remember of the movie, you're following a cat throughout various households that she travels through kind of thing. There's stuff with an Egyptian cat god in it. I remember that. <laughs> so uh, I don't know too much, but I am looking forward to reading this. This should hopefully be pretty breezy as well. And then on for roll number three. So now we're on to book number three. Roll the we'll roll for the bookcase. Five. So five is my manga shelf. Oh wait, I need to show you. I, I'm not used to this. Uh, there we go. Okay, so roll number three was an easy one. It's it was just pick something off of my manga shelf. I decided to pick. Way of the House Husband by Kosuke Ono. Uh, this is volume four, which is what I'm at right now, and it's all about this ex-yakuza guy who is a house husband, so he's taking care of the house-related things while his wife 
is off working. And the way he deals with everyday situations is over the top, like stereotypical like Yakuza almost. And people mistake his intentions a lot because he looks really gruff and mean and um, they're like, you're Yakuza, you obviously did it kind of thing, but he's not a Yakuza anymore. Uh, it's, it's really funny and I love it. Uh, honestly, I'm probably gonna read all the volumes that I got for my birthday, um, which includes four, uh, five, and six. And I think the seventh volume came out really recently, so it's possible I might pick that up as well. But in any case, I really love this manga series and I suggest checking it out if you're into humory stuff. Can't wait to read those. Now we're on to roll number four. So then for pick number four, whoopsies. Number three. I need to show you. I need to make sure to show. I'm, I'm terrible at this. There you go. Three. So three is that shelf again. Okay. Or that the like owl shelf again. That one has three um, shelves on it. So I'm gonna roll a d4. Reroll on four. Oh my goodness. That's a that's that's a four. So reroll. There we go. So one. So the uh, first shelf on that case, the hero. So the, that's a 16. Well, number four, we're back on the, um, I'm just calling it my light novel shelf. So, so since I rolled a one, we're going to the top one now. Um, I don't know how to do this. So uh, <laughs> forgive me if this is a little funky. But yeah, pretty much everything on here is valid, except for Harry Potter, because I've already finished that. And Grimm's, because I've, already written that. Oh yeah, I've also finished this, which is on Jurassic Park. So, um, 16th book. Um, I guess I haven't read this fully, so I'll count it. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So, sixteen oh, is the wind in the willows. So for rule number four, it was back to my light novel shelf over there, which um, I don't know if it's in frame. Yeah, it is in frame. Yeah. Um, and it ended up being not a light novel again, but I got The Wind in the Willows by Kenneth Graham. And this version is illustrated by Robert Ingpen. So this is like a this one I could probably say more confidently is a children's classic. It features these various animals. I believe there's a so there's a badger and I think there's a frog. Yeah. <laughs> and uh they get in hijinks or something together. Uh, I don't really know much else. But <laughs> and I'm basing that entirely of my vague recollection of the Disney animated version. So I'm not sure how this is different from the animated thing. But I assume they get into hijinks. Uh, there's a few illustrations in here that that remind me of certain scenes from the uh, animated picture. So I imagine there are some things that are similar. <laughs> but uh, yeah, another kind of breezy like children's type one. That's pretty nice. All right, and so now we're on to roll number five. So book for number five, and we'll do uh. uh you know, the rule <laughs> bookcase. Okay, um, there we go, that's a different number. Uh, two, so my second bookcase. Uh, so on the, uh, that bookcase is a taller one, so it has six shelves, so I can just roll a d6 again for the shelf. Oh my goodness, it's a two again. So there you go, two. And again, I'll do a d20 to pick the book, and I'll roll over if it, there's not 20. Oh, there's a lower number. Um, that's a five. All right, so this is what I've dubbed the number two bookcase. Uh, I can't fit it all in frame because it's it's tall. Um, yeah, uh, light no, not in light novels. Why fantasy mystery, a uh, whole bunch of stuff. So uh, yes, lots of stuff. Rolled a two, so the second bookshelf. Again, forgive me if this is a little strange. I'm still getting used to this. So there's a lot of series on here, so not all of this is valid, I think. Uh, actually, most of this is. I haven't started the Beast Player, but I, um, series 
with the duology, so I think I'll count this. Started this series, I haven't read this. Started this one, haven't read this, and I've started this Alana series. Um, I've already finished the other ones that I haven't mentioned. Okay, so for a book, that is a five. So one, two, three, four, five. That is Descendant of the Crane. So for roll number five, picked Descendant of the Crane by Joan He? He? Oh no, I don't know how to pronounce. I, I think that's Chinese origin type name, but I, I don't know how to pronounce. I'm sorry. But um, this is something about ah, murder and trying to solve murder in a Chinese inspired fantasy. And there's a court that's ah, deceivers, political gain, and ooh, outlawed magic. I've heard a lot of good things about this. When about it came out, I don't hear as much about it now, but I am excited to give this a shot. And then now we're on to roll number six, so the final roll. Now it's time for my final uh, book. So here we go. Bam. Oop, one. So one is my, <laughs> I think it's all adult fantasy. And then again, I'll roll a d6 for uh, the shelf on the case. Six. So let's see. One, two, three. Yeah, okay. Um, oh, six. I need to show you guys. I'm so bad at this. Uh, so six. That means it's the last shelf. And then finally I'll roll the d20 for the last book. This. Oh, 20. Um, I didn't think about this, but since I rolled a nat 20, I'm just going to pick whatever I want. Okay, so for our final roll, we got the uh, six, or <laughs> bookcase, the, the six roll, the final roll. We got bookcase number one, and that's this big boy, uh, aka this is a really hard shelf to film, so forgive me, doesn't fill, fill on frame. This is, I think this is all adult fantasy, so yes. I rolled a six. So that is the bottom shelf, which, oh god, this, oh no, it's so hard to film. Ah, okay, sorry, this, this is very, very awkward. I can't fit in behind the camera, so oh, I hope this will be okay. Um, so I rolled a nat 20. I'm kind of tempted between this one and elderly lady uh, is up to no good, because that one is short and seems kind of funny. But also, the Tropic of Serpents, uh, like the series, ah, uh, yeah, let's go with the Tropic of Serpents, actually, so, there you go, Oop. so those are all the rolls. Okay, so for the final roll, I, I got onto my adult fantasy shelf, which you can't see, it's over there, and I rolled a nat 20, so I just went ahead and picked something off of that shelf, yay, and I'm going to be reading the... The second book in the Lady Memoir Lady Trent series. I don't know what it's called, but it's the Tropic of Serpents. Serp the Tropic of Serpents by Mary Brennan. This is kind of a um, Regency Victorian. I, I don't really know. Inspired. Fan it's like a historical fantasy, I guess. And the main character, Lady Trent. Is that her name? Yes. Lady Trent. She's a go-getter. She wants to explore and study dragons and that's what she goes d does even though ah you should be a proper lady and stuff like that. So these books in the books in this series kind of act as a fake memoir of or a memoir of this fictional person I guess and I've only read the first book but it was so good. I loved it so much, and from what I understand, the rest of the series is also very good, so I'm really, really excited to continue on to the series. I just haven't because I've been diddle-doddling and I'm, I get easily distracted. But can't wait for this. Anyway, those are all the books for the TBR. Uh, we'll see if I stick to it 
or not. Um, thank you so much for the YouTuber that I cannot remember names or face of for letting me use your TVR game, but then I changed it, so then I ended up not. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> I did roll dice though. <laughs> anyway, so let me know uh, in your thoughts about any of these particular books that I'm about to read, hopefully we'll see. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again in another video. Bye!